Hello, family and friends! Today is our second and final pre-cruise day in San Diego, and we're headed to back to the waterfront area and making our way over to the USS Midway Museum for the day. For those who may be considering visiting this site, we'll talk about eight things we think you should know before you go. Our cruise on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas is sailing out of Port of Los Angeles in San Pedro. So you may be wondering why we flew into San Diego instead of LA. Well, it's because visiting this decommissioned aircraft carrier was Raj's only ask for his first visit to California. When we were going through the list of hundreds of different things to see and do in Southern California, he didn't care about Disneyland, Hollywood, the San Diego Zoo, or anything other than seeing the USS Midway and maybe the Maritime Museum because they had a submarine as part of their collection. We got to walk by the Maritime Museum the day before, but ran out of time to actually see it. We're already planning another trip to California. The Hampton in San Diego was conveniently located near the waterfront area. We crossed the street, walked past the waterfront park, and turned left to head towards the Midway. We walked by the San Diego Cruise Terminal and passed by a Disney ship and a princess ship in port. The website for the USS Midway Museum says they are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Sunday all year long except on Thanksgiving and Christmas when they are closed. They recommend at least three to four hours to see everything on board. With Raj and his tendency to read everything, we ended up spending pretty much the entire day there. We arrived around 10.30 a.m. and didn't leave until almost 5 p.m. when they were closing. For those who are interested, we have the full walkthrough of the USS Midway available in a separate video because it's almost two hours long. We'll link to it from this video. Hi! So we're here at the entrance of the USS Midway Museum. Um, this is, used to be an old aircraft carrier. 
So we're about to go purchase tickets and go check it out. You can pre-purchase tickets online or purchase tickets on-site. To the right of the on-site ticket booth, there are some vending machines and restrooms. You will have to go through a security and bag check before being granted entry. The first thing we think you should know is you'll be doing a lot of walking. A lot of walking. There are also a lot of steep, narrow steps, elevated doorway entries, and uneven surfaces on the midway. We definitely recommend wearing comfortable closed-toed shoes, preferably with a non-slip sole. The second thing we think you should know is the midway is partially accessibility friendly. When it was converted to a museum, they did what they could to enable accessibility through the addition of elevators, access routes, and wheelchair accessible restrooms on the hangar and flight decks. They also offer the use of complimentary wheelchairs, available for loan to guests on a first-come, first-served basis, but it's not 100% accessible, and there are areas of the carrier in which you may not be able to access in a wheelchair. Third on our list is that a self-guided audio tour is included in your admission price. They do have audio devices available in multiple languages, including English, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, German, and French. The devices can be picked up just before entering the hangar deck and returned at the exit. If you bring your own headset or wired earbuds, you can also do the audio tour using your own phone. There are docents throughout the midway available to answer questions or even share stories along the way. Many of the midway volunteers have previously served, with some having served on the midway itself. Audio tour deck if you want to, what to do is take your device, point the yellow speakers and listen, just point and listen. Kids will point at green instead of yellow. Audio tour, if you want, the only thing to do is take your device, point the yellow speakers and listen. Just point and listen. Number four on our list of things to know is that just before entering the hangar deck, you will be stopped by the Midway's photo team to take a souvenir photo. You'll be given a slip to take to the photo center on the hangar deck to purchase a photo before leaving. If you do happen to forget about the photo, you can actually review and purchase online from the Midway website. They offer different size photos ranging in price from $12.99 up to $21.99. Oh. Oh. It's nice that these don't require the use of the headsets, but it's kind of hard to hear. I'm Larry Ritter, retired Navy pilot and your guide to the ship today. You're in the hangar bay. Find a good spot to stand for a minute before we get our bearings. Fifth on our list is to bring tissues, especially if you plan to watch the Voices of Midway presentation in the Battle of Midway Theater. The film is approximately 15 minutes long but left all of us in tears, and we weren't the only ones.
bag of gum in here for some reason. Is it good for the rice? Yeah, I do. Sixth on our list of things to know is that just past the stationary craft and seats available for guests to try out, there are motion-based flight simulator experiences available at an additional cost. If you have a kiddo that loves these, be prepared to part with some extra cash. That's the kitchen I need. Your officers.
Number seven on our list is to watch your head. Cole was 6'4 and whacked his head against low surfaces multiple times throughout this day. Number eight on our list is don't leave without doing the guided island tour. This tour runs for a limited time each day and can end as early as 3.30 p.m. It is run by the volunteer docents and included in your admission to the Midway Museum. The island tour was hands down Raja's favorite part of the entire experience because it's where he learned the most about air operations, navigation, and charting, and the captain's bridge. Do you want to be a boss? Boss. Yeah, go sit down, be a boss. Are there four separate phones up here? Yeah. Now I understand why the chair has that label. So who's in charge of all this? It's the boss. He's a commander. He's got a lot of experience taking off and landing on aircraft carriers. He's in charge of the 250 men on the flight deck, another 140 below in the hangar deck, and then five miles around this ship, and a half a mile up. Any plane in that space belongs to our boss. And he's in charge of landing, so he's a very busy person. And that's why we gave him the mini bumps. I don't want to get all the responsibilities to someone else, and I just watch the TV. Okay, so welcome to the bridge, which is this area here, and the pilot house, which is inside. The captain of an aircraft carrier is called the commanding officer, CO. A lot of people have their picture taken in the CO's chair, so after you have your picture taken, please step down so others can do that. You must do it while I'm talking, before the next group arrives. The captain's chair is also the most safe in this process break. Or you can hang around, take pictures, ask questions until the next group arrives. The, oh, the Admiral. The Admiral, sorry. So the Admiral, even though he's above the captain, the captain is in command of his ship. The ship is part of the Admiral's fleet. So the admiral can say, let's go here. And you're running. Uh, the captain. Yeah. That's the other captain's chair. Hey, I thought there was supposed to be only one captain. Yeah. Well, it's the other chair that was used when we shipped this one. Well, I think I know what this was for. There's a little thing over here. Oh, okay. ship. Next room to oh. Oh. Yeah, because he has to live right here. Be ready to. It was a very long day spent on the USS Midway. We're going to head back to our hotel and order dinner in for the night. Our friend Neelam, who you saw in our part one video, told us to plan on a two and a half hour drive to LAX to drop off our rental, and then another half an hour or so in a rideshare to get from LAX to the cruise port in San Pedro. Our boarding time is 10 a.m. tomorrow, so we'll be leaving San Diego by 6.30 to give us a little wiggle room. It's been a quick but fun trip to San Diego, and we definitely want to plan another trip back. For now, good night and we'll see you on boarding day. Thanks for watching!